Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? It's your boy, The Ghetto Agatha, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. Told you I had some more stuff coming. Now, today, we're going to be unboxing the Bauer 6-inch ring light multipod. 6-inch ring light. Yes, yeah, kind of a small light, but your boy kind of got caught off guard when I had to do a video um, when I was... Um, out of town and I had what one maybe two maybe three small um tripods and I needed one more with a ring light and I'm like oh it would have been better so you know what your boy did I went and picked me up one now this I'm about that that cheap that 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 affordable tech life that cheap tech life I don't think that everything needs to cost three to four hundred eight hundred dollars for you to be able to have a decent studio on the go. Um, so what I did went to um, while I was at Best Buy, this caught my eye. Um, and this was only like $29.99. You might be able to find a version of this um, for maybe for the light and everything that comes with it, maybe $20. So I think I paid them maybe $10 too much. But to me, you know, affordable tech is affordable tech. Now, what comes in the box is um, it has a white light mode, come with the ring light, it has white, natural, and warm colors, extendable tripod, um, it, it turns into a selfie stick, a wireless remote, and it has a USB charging cable. So what we're gonna do, let's get into the Eagle Eye View, and um, let's get into the Eagle Eye View, and let's open this puppy up. To the eagle eye view this is how the box looks up close um this is everything three you have three light modes you get the you get the one ring light with three light modes um you get the foldable um design uh, removable wireless remote and you get a it turns into a selfie stick and it's a 32 um inch um expendable extendable sorry um tripod for use with most smartphones so as you could use it for most smartphones, really, I'm just going to be using it mainly for the light. Maybe I'll use my smartphone. You never know. But the light with the tripod really comes in handy. And it's lightweight. It's lightweight. You know, some $29.99. You got to understand this is, a, this is how the box look. Nothing really to write home about. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go into the unboxing. Now, this is my unboxing knife today. Um, never gave this one a name, but this is the unboxing knife we're going to be using today to unbox it. So let's get into the unboxing. This should be a very quick unboxing today. Um, but got to show what's in here. So here we go. Let me close this. So you're not going to get a really good unpacked experience. I can tell you that right now. So. What's in here today? We got the we got the charging. How to charge up the the ring light? I wonder if it's a charge or you just have to. What's that? So you have a USB A to, to USB. Um, I don't think that's a micro, but that's USB small, isn't that? It's USB. So, um. We have the have the manual. Uh, put that to the side. So there's nothing else in the box. See, so very simple. Put that to the side, and here we go. Well, this is how it looks. The ring light is there. You have the remote right here, which you can take out. And most time they do work, so you can take pictures and start the video and stuff so i'm trying to see how to get this thing out of here oh there go to stender so you extend it and you push wow you gotta push this thing out so it's kind of hard to push out which is good it, it grabs out i had to use a little bit a little bit more muscle in the in the hand to get it out like it's supposed to be but this is how it looks um i don't think you can take this off here but Oh, look, and it extends pretty long too, so that's that's pretty decent. I wish I can get in full shot, but I can't. But this is how it looks. Um, you have this is where you put your phone, your phone at right here. So 
Okay. You open these two things up. And that's kind of, you know, you put a decent sized phone in there. And you could turn it. So you could turn it around. Okay. You could turn it around. I just got to lose a little bit before. I didn't want to break it. So that's not bad. You turn it around this way. We can have it this way. Which is pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and um okay you got some accessories i guess you could put some or you could change it you could turn it around okay so you could actually turn this around differently you could take this off here this will come off here oh i like that so let's see if we can get the other part off Oh yeah, okay, it comes off here. And that stays on, which is I think is good so you want to lose you don't lose nothing. That stays on. But then yet yeah, you could turn it around. So it can go uh fit an, fit another way or another type of see? Turn it around. So you could turn it around, it can go this way. So you you have options. You can turn it around, you can take it off. I don't like the way that, that looks standing up there. But that's how that is. But you can turn it around. So it has a another end. You can change it up. So let's put this back in. And let's give it a, a whirl. Yo, so I saw this was able to come off. And this is where they house the battery. And this is a a 100, 1,200 milliamp hour battery right there. 1,200 milliamp hour battery. So you can see that this is a rechargeable battery. Um, so don't open this. I thought they, you know, maybe it wasn't, but it's a rechargeable battery. So that's what's under that compartment. So I just want to let you know. That's what's under the problem. So we're going to put that back on, screw it up, and uh, we're going to see if it works. Over some of the functionality, um, one thing I do like about it is that it, it's good for on the go. You can loosen this up. You can fold it, tighten it back up, and this is how small. So it can actually fit in your bag um, pretty decently. And it's taken care, you know, if you need something on the go just to be able to blog, just to be able to get a quick video out. You already got a couple of decent lights. You just need something, to, you know, to illuminate. I think this will do pretty well. Um, another thing is on the bottom, you do have the tripod, like I said before. But what we're going to do, we're going to get in the regular view so I can show you, you know, give you a better view of it. Because my desk, what I work on is a little too small for it. But this is... How it look folded. Um, take this out, and you know, you can tighten it back up. And you kind of wait now to sync your phone with the. If you want to sync your Bluetooth with the um, the wireless snapper, you take pictures or start your videos wirelessly. You have to hold this; it'll beep keep on going and then you you should be able to sync it up um like you would sync anything else also just go through your bluetooth options and it will sync up um on the back you have the charging this is the charging port and this is the on and on switch right here so why don't we do this why don't we go ahead and see how it looks when it charges up just using a regular battery pack um got this from five and below so we're gonna put that let's put that up here and we're going to just put this in here. Make sure you get it on the right side. There you go. And it's plugged up. That's how it looks when it's plugged up. Which I think is good that you have an indicator light to let you know it is charging. Um, I wish it would have blinked or something. But, you know, again, what you expect for this, you know, you're, paying, you're not really... You know, paying a lot of money. So you, you're not going to get all the bells and whistles that you would want. But at least that. Now to turn it on. 
you hit this button here. Okay. Now it has three levels. So what you do, you hit it once, it turns it on. Hit it twice, it gets brighter. I wish it went a little bit brighter, but understand, you know, you can't get everything. So that's the brightest it can go. And I know you probably won't be able to see it on here like it like like I would like to, but that's the lowest brightest. So it's not bad. You know, it'll definitely with some other lights on be able to um you'll be able to get some decent lighting. So why don't we go ahead and get back to the regular view so I can show you how we look extended. Um yo before we do that let's put a phone in it. Let's put a phone in it. Go on here and got my Google. Turn that down. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this this way. And what you would do, this right here is retractable. So it should fit most smartphones. If you have a big note or something or a bigger phone, you might have to take the case off to get it. Now this is a little flimsy here. So over time, that might give you issues, but right now it's pretty sturdy. You just put your phone in and that's kind of sturdy. That is kind of sturdy. And then, you know, you could use it as a selfie stick as well. But like I said, I'm going to show that when we um, get into the regular view. So let's turn it on and see how it looks. Because sometimes if you got bigger phones, it's going to bring out the light. But that's how it would look like that. That's pretty decent. Look at that. Pretty decent. So, you know, pretty decent. So let's get back into the regular view so we can look at the rest of the functionality Give it a grade. Welcome back everybody to the regular view. Now let's look at some of the other functionality because you know it says it could, it could be a selfie stick as well. And it has a um, 32 inch expendable tripod. It's a extendable tripod. So we're gonna do all that so we can um, just make sure it works before I give it a grade. So, you know, I know sometimes my videos are a little longer, but I'll try to let you see the functionality as well, just not just to unbox. So basically, you can tilt this any, any which way you want to. The head part of this can tilt. So you can put it at a little angle and you can use it as a selfie stick. And it gets pretty out there. You see that? It gets pretty out there. So, and it's, it's decent. It's not going to be, you know, you're not paying $80 or there's some very expensive selfie sticks out there. Um, but it's pretty decent. See, pretty decent. As a selfish tip, like, hey, how you doing? We here. Look at everything. You know, you can do that. Um, now, now the thing is, you gotta realize is that you're not gonna really get no back shots, really, um, unless you, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get really no back shots with the, with it down here. So it's more, it's no selfie stick. You know, so you want to be able to turn the camera around to see what's behind. But I, I get the point. But selfie stick is pretty good. You can turn it. So like I said, you have a smaller phone, but everybody's getting bigger phones now, like many tablets. So pretty decent as a selfie stick. Now, to use it as a tripod, like I'm gonna use it. You know, let's tighten it up so I won't. Now let's take this out the way. What we're gonna do, we're gonna see how it look like. Is it sturdy when it stands up? And there you go. That's it standing up. I know you can't see me, but that's how it looks standing up. So that's how it looks standing up. So why don't we just go ahead, you know, put it sideways or however people want to do, and then, you know, standing up. And you, like I said, it can get pretty long. So that you know, now it's not gonna be the most sturdy as the tire it gets. See, it's leaning a little bit. Again, you're not paying as much money money for it. So you, you know, you're not getting something that's going to be, you know, made, you know take certain, you know, it's made to go all the way up, but I wouldn't use it all the way up, you know, because it start leaning. I'll put it about right there. That's pretty decent, you know. So it's pretty good. I mean, the feet are sturdy. You know, it's pretty decent. Like I said, you're not paying a lot of money for it. So don't expect much. Just be able to expect what you're going to be able to do with it. There you go. See, turns on, turn different things. I, said, I like it. Um, I do like it. I mean, the construction is not going to be the best. Um, but it's pretty decent. Pretty decent. So 
pretty I mean it's, no, it's not you got a big phone on here too so it's I like it I do like it that's how it looks without the phone on so I would look without the phone I do like it I think it's uh for $29.99 if you could find it cheaper then $29.99, I would say get it if you need something this small, if you're looking for something on the go, something to blog in, you know, just a extra portable ring light because actually this is really, you know, a, a rechargeable ring light that you can, you can take off of this. So this ring light can have a multiple uses and if you have another, um, they do sell the the, the head mounts where you can take this off and put a regular mount on here and have it used that way. So you can actually have a lot of uh, versatility with this type of setup. You can take off the ring light and not even use this part. So I do like it. Um, I don't know what grade to give this. Um, the construction's okay. It's plasticky. It's going to creak. But, you know, when you're just looking for something just to, until you can get something better, I think this is a good deal. Um... I think I'm gonna give this a B. I'm gonna give it a B. Um, for what it does, maybe a, a B plus for what it does and and everything I think if I know if you just need to a quick setup, something that you can use on the go, something that's not gonna take up a lot of space in your book bag, not gonna take a lot of space up. You can throw this in the book bag, you know, there you go, you get two of these. There you go. Now I do wish that they did add a fourth brightness like you know you can go four levels instead of three you know um and i wish the um this was a little stronger because when i was holding it it felt kind of flimsy um and i wish it would have been a little bit more stable that was not stable but not leaning you know this part had been a little bit more stable as far as when you use it as a tripod to where it won't lean. So, I give it a B. I mean, for $29.99 or you can find it cheaper and you just need something, I think this will work just fine. If you need something like this, go out and get one. I think, you, I think you'll be presently surprised of its utility. Well, look, I just want to thank everybody for rocking with your boy yet on another unboxing video. I just want to thank my new and current subscribers. Please give me a thumbs up, like, and share if you know somebody that might need one of these. If they don't know, the videos are kind of entertaining sometimes. So once again, I want to thank everybody for rocking with your boy. This is your boy, The Ghetto Ogrefer, a.k.a. Pat the Tech. Thank you for rocking with me on another unboxing journey. You have a good day. We got some more unboxings coming soon. Peace.